What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about amazing and notable Canadians that are alive today. And I really want to emphasize that, that these are Canadians that are walking among us. These are incredible, amazing Canadians that are still alive. This is not about ancient history. And I feel like these are important people that I should know about. I feel a little embarrassed because I think like many Americans, we really focus and learn about American stuff and about American heroes and American figures. And there's a whole bunch of amazing Canadians that are alive right now doing amazing stuff that I don't even know about. So we are gonna fix that today. And with this little Reddit discussion where someone asked, what are your five notable Canadians that are alive today? I thought that was such a great question. And some of the top answers were my dad, <laughs> My dad, my grandpa, my mom, the dog, and my best friend. <laughs> now, you know what? That's kind of sweet. Very notable people for me, and all are still alive. This was the top voted. <laughs> that, you know what? I am, gl I am glad. Fane underscore eternal. Uh, their dad, grandma, mom, dog, and best friend. Those are notable Canadians, and good for him for acknowledging them. That's, that's nice. Okay. Now, maybe some more well-known Canadians, probably. Uh, Margaret Atwood, I've heard this name. I feel like I should know who this is. Margaret Atwood, I will Google this. There's gonna be a lot of Googling in this, <laughs> this video, I swear to you. This is a Canadian poet and novelist. What, uh, is she known for like a famous book? Oh, there she is in a sweater, that's kinda nice, or a sweatshirt. Um, man, this is why I don't know Margaret Atwood, because these look these books look way too cultured for me, way too way too much for my level. Uh, the Handmaid's Tale. I have heard of The Handmaid's Tale. They might have made a movie out of it. I've heard of Margaret Atwood. I'm proud of that, but I didn't know she was Canadian. She's 83 from Ottawa, um, and she is once again a very accomplished poet and novelist. I've heard of her for sure. Very cool, she is Canadian. Uh, Stephen Lewis, never heard of Stephen Lewis. I, I don't know who Stephen Lewis is. Stephen Lewis or Stephen Lewis? I have to do Stephen Lewis Canadian just to make sure I get the correct Stephen Lewis. Former leader of the official opposition of Ontario, Stephen Lewis, there he is. He is a Canadian politician, 85. Uh, inspired his grandson. He is a Canadian politician, public speaker, broadcaster, and diplomat. Leader of the Social Democratic Ontario New Democratic Party for the 1970s. Was he, like, very well-liked? Very accomplished Canadian politician, public speaker, diplomat? Uh, I don't know what his accomplishments were. And I feel like there's, so, there's going to be so many notable and amazing Canadians in this list that I don't think I can go into super detail about all these people, but it is good just to have them on my radar and kind of read their biography, their kind of one sentence explanation. Um, Stephen Lewis, okay, Chris Hadfield. I know of Chris Hadfield. This is a very famous Canadian astronaut. Yes, oh man, he has a good picture here too, dang. There's the earth behind him. <laughs> or it could be a drawing on him. <laughs> and he's juggling. <laughs> yes, he is a fun, funny Canadian astronaut who, oh, here he is. He played guitar on the space station. I remember that. Yeah, he was huge like a few years ago, but I think all Americans are familiar with Chris Hadfield. He had so many cool videos coming out. Um, Canadian ast retired astronaut, engineer, pilot, musician, writer. What an amazing person. What an amazing life. Uh, yeah, this is probably one of the most famous Canadians who's not an actor or a musician or something. So that's super cool. Christine Sinclair. Christine Sinclair. No idea. No idea about Christine Sinclair. This is a Canadian soccer player. I do not follow soccer very much. Is she very accomplished? Is she the best Canadian soccer player? 
Canadian soccer player plays as a forward and captains the national team. Um, yeah. Is there anything else on here? Um, man, it doesn't quite say her accomplishments. I feel like for the sake, since it's a soccer player and I don't know anything about that, is there something else? All-time leader in international goals for men or women with 190 goals. That's insane. Second player of either sex to score at five World Cups. She, so she's insane. She's crazy good. Wow. Okay. Crazy, crazy, crazy good Canadian soccer player. Okay. Jeff Wall. Never heard of Jeff Wall. Well, this is... At least I knew of one Canadian on this list. Uh, Chris Hadfield. But I don't know Jeff Wall. Google apparently doesn't either. Canada. Canada. Here we go. Canadian artist. He looks... Somehow he looks like an artist. <laughs> I don't know how, what that means. But he looks like... 77. Contemporary art. Canadian artist best known for his large-scale backlit symbacarome photographs and art history writing. If I didn't know anything about Canadian literature and poetry, there's no chance I was going to know about this very, very famous Canadian artist. But this is cool, an artist. Um, helped define the Vancouver School, published essays on the work of his colleagues. Well, he's an artist, so can I look at ooh, some of his work? Jeff Wall artwork, The Flooded Grave. Are these photo? Yes, he's a photographer, right? So these are photographs. Tattoos and shadows, picture for women. The Destroyed Room, A Sudden Gust of Wind. These are very cool, very random, very like visceral, uh, if that makes sense. Like very real life. Tattoos and shadows. This is the destroyed room. It's somehow destroyed, yet very contained and orderly in this box. How's that? There's the Tyler Bucket art critique for the day. <laughs> uh, okay, those were cool. Yeah, these are so many Canadians from all walks of life and all sorts of different specialties uh, that I've never heard of. So this is fantastic. Wayne Gretzky. I know Wayne Gretzky. He is a hockey player, like the most famous Canadian hockey player. Maybe the best, maybe the best hockey player ever. I know of Wayne Gretzky. Keanu Reeves. I know of Keanu Reeves. Thank goodness. Some, okay, I know Keanu Reeves very well. Big fan of his work. <laughs> Getty Lee. Jetty Lee? Getty Lee? I do not know Getty Lee. He is a Canadian musician. For what band? I, I probably know the band, if not. Um, lead vocalist, bassist, bassist, keyboardist for Rush. Oh, I don't know Rush. Oh, I, uh, I reacted a while back to the Tragically Hip. So I learned about Gord and the Tragically Hip. But I never learned about Rush, which I will do. In the near future, I am going to react to Rush. That's why I didn't know Getty Lee either. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, I know Rush is insanely popular in Canada, right? Uh, Alex Lifeson. Alex Lifeson. Never heard of him. Canadian musician. Uh, maybe I've heard of the band he's in? What band is he? Um, is a Canadian musician best known as the guitarist for Rush. Rush again! So, uh, two of Rush's band members made this list. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds... I'm trying to think, who is the de facto most famous Canadian? Most, like, living today. And it might be Ryan Reynolds. Is there anyone? Justin Bieber, Drake, and Ryan Reynolds. For sure. Okay. But I'm actually enjoying hearing about a lot of these lesser known Canadians. Lesser known to me as an American. I'm sure Canadians know these names and know these people. That, to me, it's funny. As an American, it's like, who, who are these people? Are they really that famous? Or, because, just because I don't know them. But it's like, no. America really has a bubble of information and not learning about important, amazing people from other countries like Canada. So I'm, I'm enjoying this. Very eye-opening. Fred Penner? Fred Penner. 
never heard that name, Fred Penner, Canadian musician and entertainer. We're getting quite a bit of uh, Canadian musicians and entertainers right now. Um, it, don't tell me he's from Rush <laughs> as well. Uh, known for the song The Cat Came Back and a television series, Fred Penner's Place. Fred, a TV series? That is a lot of... A, a pretty big catalog of songs. I, I don't recognize him looking at his photograph. Popular, famous Canadian, and he's alive today. He's 76. He's on like a... Was it like a children's show or something? Or a while back, I, I learned somewhat about uh, Canadian children's shows that had musical aspects. Was he possibly part of that? And I'm forgetting? Or Fred Penner. Okay. To this day, I'll, I'll never forget how he pulled his guitar out of a hole in a rock. <laughs> Coolest thing ever. Okay. There you have it. Fred Penner pulls a guitar out of a rock. <laughs> That's cool. It seems like a really cool dude. Um, Chris Hadfield, Keanu Reeves, Celine Dion, Ryan Reynolds, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's Canadian. I never remember that Jim Carrey is Canadian. He is so, so beloved in America. He's Canadian. I did not... I, I, Ryan Gosling's Canadian. Ryan Reynolds' Canadian. Since he's not a Ryan, I forgot. Jim Carrey. Can, wow. That is insane, because Jim Carrey, especially at the height of his popularity, was probably the most loved person to Americans. Not the most loved American, because I realize now he is Canadian. But <laughs> Jim Carrey, oh man, yes. And the, these five are like, this person did a good job of listing like five of the most famous Canadians ever, which is cool. Um, are there any others I don't? Michael J. Fox! Michael J. Fox, he's Canadian. I don't think I really, I don't think I knew that. Michael J. Fox, Canadian, Canadian-American. What does that mean? Michael J. Fox, man, 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 man. Um, Canadian and American, retired actor, right, once he fell ill um, with Parkinson, I believe Parkinson's disease, so unfortunate, he is so awesome. And now he's a pretty big advocate for Parkinson's research, and so that that's awesome. But he is awesome, Michael J. Fox, and Canadian. Uh, maybe he got his American citizenship or something. Rick Hansen? Rick Hansen. Who is Rick Hansen? It sounds kind of familiar. Rick Hansen. Rick Hansen, Canada. It's funny how here, maybe it's like my American Google. Uh, I have to put Canada after some of these names or it doesn't know what I'm talking about. He is a Canadian athlete and activist, Rick Hansen. He he's in a wheelchair. He's a wheel like a handicapped athlete. Like does he do wheelchair type events or yeah, Canadian track and field athlete, activist, philanthropist for peace, people with disabilities. That is so awesome. Um following a pickup truck crash at 15 years old, he sustained a spinal cord injury and became paraplegic. He's 66 now, still alive, fits the criteria, and he sounds amazing. What an inspiration. And man, he looks jacked. Like, he looks big. Like, he is scary. He looks really strong. Holy. Uh, <laughs> so he is, yeah, that is awesome. Oh, man. Okay, cool. Rick Hansen, very cool. Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland. Don't know... Actor and musician. I recognize this guy. He's he's like that guy in movies that I never know. But now I know. It's Kiefer Sutherland. He's just in random stuff. Um, yeah, he's Canadian. Um, he was in the Fox drama series 24. I remember 24. He's won Golden Globes, Screen Actor Guild Awards. He was in... not. He's not in a lot of stuff that I've seen, but I know his face. Did not know he was Canadian. Ryan Reynolds, Brian Adams. Man, the amount of times Ryan Reynolds has been in this thread. My goodness. And d justifiably so. Brian Adams, Canadian musician, singer, songwriter. What is he from? I don't recognize him either. I don't know if I just have the most uh, paltry, like, uncivilized musical taste. I don't know any of these Canadian musicians. 
Uh, he's a solo. He's just Brian Adams, Canadian musician. It doesn't say that he's part of a band. What has he done? I Do It For You from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. He made a song for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. <laughs> Seems like he has a couple of hits as well. Cool, Brian Adams. Might have to give him a little listen at some point. Um, Rick Hansen again, Chris Hadfield again, Christine Sinclair, Keanu Reeves, David Suzuki. I've heard that name. David Suzuki. Canadian television presenter, 87. Um, he is a Canadian academic, science broadcaster, environmental activist. So does he do broadcasting and narration and kind of hosting of science content? Is that fair today to say? David Suzuki. That's pretty cool. I don't know him. That's really cool. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, science. Huh, PhD in zoology from the University of Chicago. I've never seen him, never seen his stuff. I'm surprised. Huh, very cool, very cool. And with that, I think that's pretty darn good. I, I must have learned at least 10 to 20 new, notable, amazing, accomplished Canadians that are alive today, right now, uh, that I didn't even know, which was a shame, but I'm glad now to have, to have learned and appreciated a lot of these amazing Canadians. I feel like Canadians don't get enough credit and recognition in the United States. It's weird. Uh, it's weird to me, and I think today I'm, I'm glad to have rectified that a little bit because these people are so cool, and it, it's so interesting to learn about these amazing people doing their thing right now. Like, they're all still doing their thing. So that's awesome, and uh, I enjoyed this a lot. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, Feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment, perhaps with, in your opinion, a notable, famous, accomplished, amazing Canadian that's alive today that you think Americans probably don't know about. That'd be really interesting to learn about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and Canadian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.